spoke about the killing of Mr. Sam Bokari. He yeah. was called Mosquito. Yeah. You also mentioned that um, some of his family members were killed. Yeah. Were they killed the same time, the same day he was killed? They were killed the same day. You mentioned his wife. Mahawa. Mahawa. Yeah. Then you mentioned his son. Can you please repeat the name of his son for me? We just used to call him Koko. He's black, short. You used to call him what? Koko. Koko. Yeah. Koko as in the army? Yeah, Koko. Okay. How old do you think he was? Age, I think, age nine, nine years. About nine years old. Yeah, he was very small, nine okay. years. You also mentioned Mr. Bokari's mother was killed? Yeah, Ma Fatou. Now these people, relatives of Bokari who were killed, were they fighters or civilians? They were not fighters, they were, they were civilians. civilians. Yeah. All of them? Yeah. Were any other family members of uh, Mr. Bokari killed that you know, maybe forgot about? The one was killed among the group of men that was fired later among the other groups. They call him Mwame. This other person who you said was killed from Mr. Bokari's family, was he a brother? A brother to him, Mohammed. He was a brother to him. Yeah. And his name was Mohammed. Yeah. Do you know his last name? Do you know his last name? It's Mohammed Bokari. Mohammed Bokari, okay. Thank you. There is having one of his brother here, I think he stays at Red Light. They call him Amadou. I, I, I even took him one time on Agnes program to Omi radio station. Straight from the heart yeah. program? Yeah, from straight from the heart. Okay. And his name is also Bokari, his last name. This one you just talked about. Who? This brother, yeah. who you say now lives around yeah. the red light. Mm -hmm. His last name is also Bokari. Yeah, he's also Bok uh, Amadou Bokari. You mentioned also that some RUF fighters, former fighters, were taken from the JFK. Yeah. Is that a JFK hospital? Yeah. And carried away, you said, somewhere in Pony County. Yeah, they're going to pay them. Okay. Were these people handicapped? Or do, were they sick? They yeah. They were taken from the sick beds? They were wounded, so there are some people who hands amputated, feet. So is this the same incident that people have been referring to as the combat camp incident where they were allegedly shot in and put in holes? It links to the same incident. Because that was a strategic point that was already demarcated to do execution. Combat camp. Yeah. And you say uh, it was about 300 of them. 300? You mentioned um, about how many of them you think were taken from the hospital at that time? And I said three truck. Three trucks? Yes. Okay. They Can you give us an esti estimate of the sizes of the trucks? The, the trucks, they were having the short. Tatra trucks with the big, big tires. I think one of UNDP or WFP, they have that, that modern truck with the short, short tires. They were backloaded down to that camp. You mentioned also during your, your um, testimony that Mr. Alhaji Kuma sent some trucks across the border from Liberia to Guinea and those trucks were exchanged for arms. For arms and ammunition. For, for USC company. For arms and ammunition. Yeah. The trucks that trucks? we met at USC company trailers. 
How many chucks were those? It was many. I, I, I cannot really figure out. It was you also mentioned that men were sold in Sierra Leone by the Kruman group yeah. for arms. And they are still there. They are still there now. Yes. These men who were sold, were they fighters or fighters? Civilians? Because fighters. They were, at that time, they were having a problem with mad power on the front line. So the government came down to Bomi and negotiated. Give we men, we will give you guys arms and ammunition. Okay. When you say the government, was this other um, Strasser government? government? Oh, the Strasser Strasser government. government. Okay. The now these Richard men who were sold, um, how would you explain? Is it like they were sold as slaves? Did they go with their own? free will, they were forced. Can you explain the conditions surrounding? They were taken from Bomi down to Sierra Leone to fight, side along with the Sierra Leone army, till the war can finish. So in turn, they sent arms and ammunition for us in Bomi. You also spoke that you were recruited at age 12 yeah. and uh, they recruited you along with other young men in this unit called small boy unit yes yeah, small boy unit at that time how many of you how many small boys were there in the small boy unit that we are 30 in number three zero 30 yeah, yeah three zero at the time yeah so, so the size of the platoon okay the size of a plateau yeah now, during your years fighting, whether with Ulimo, they joined Ulimo or Ulimo K, and then you joined the NPFL later, how many small boy soldiers you think these people have, or you came across? How many small boy soldiers I keep? No, no, no. How many small boy soldiers were fighting along with you, or you think these different groups have recruited? So many. Can you estimate? SB unit were having another group that was with 24 hour when we were crossing. They too, it was the same small boy unit. They were under zebra, a battalion they call zebra from Ulimo. They were under zebra, but headed by 24 hour. But we start taking Congo, coming all the way to Tieni. Okay, let me um, simplify my question. How many small boy units you think Ulimo had when you were fighting before Ulimo split? When it was one Ulimo, how many small boy soldiers you think you had fighting with you? Small boy units, where group of? How many child were fighting? Small boys were fighting as small boy soldiers. There are so many. One hundred, two hundred. 500, 3,000, 1,000? Maybe, approximately 70 in number, I can see. Maybe 70, 18,000? 70, 70. 70? Yeah. Okay. And when you joined the NPFL, how, did you see many small boy soldiers and how many you think were there? Yeah, they too, they were having many small boy units because like people like eighteen it's just the name. But Yetin was a very small boy at that time. We were having another commander that died too, Stanley. He too was small. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you now? Now, I'm going to my 29th, yes. You mentioned the Liberian mosquito. Yeah. Christopher Vamo. You say he still lives, he's and he he's he is still alive and he lives around the Ghana's Bay area. Yeah. What can you tell us about the Operation Octopus and uh, this mosquito being allegedly in the area? What can you tell us about what happened at the Catholic convent? 
with the nuns and what happened to the children who were in the area and an orphanage what happened where did those children go where did they carry the children i cannot tell you where really they took them if i say it then i think i want to that under the presidency of mr charles taylor yeah you served in the you were a general and then you served in the atu the anti-terrorist unit am i correct i was with them but per se i never took training like how other people went but you were a member of the atu yeah. after the war when mr yeah. taylor won the election yeah okay now do you think and if so, how many um, fighters like yourself at the time were recruited, for example, in the ATU, in the army, in the police, and in other security agencies when Mr. Taylor was president? The fighters. We are so many. So I um, cannot a lot of tell you, you yeah, a specific number. So a lot of you were just... Um, switch over from being fighters yeah. into yeah. the different security yeah. areas like these areas I named. Yeah. And you are a mechanic? Yeah, presently. Is that what you do for a living now? Yes. That's what I'm choosing. You you learned a trade after the war, or you were a mechanic? No, it's you just learned. after the war. After I started the war. Okay. doing that. Were you? Um, did you disarm? Did you go through any of the the uh, rehabilitation programs? I never enter the DDR program. But you didn't enter the DDR program. Commanders, these weapons were taken from us down to our commanders. Your commanders took the weapons? Yeah. Do you know if they turned those weapons into the DDR program or any similar program? I, I went through the DDR also. You, you went through the DDR program? Yeah. You? Okay. When you fought, what kinds of weapons did you use? Say again? When you were a fighter, what kinds of weapons uh, did you use? So many. The anti-aircraft, what the the guy the shot AE RPG that's the rocket propelled grenade AK forty seven AK forty eight AK fifty eight or having stinker missile what can pick you can usually pick jets up when jets are flying the stinker missile that one was brought by General Sam Bokari on Sierra Leone. They will have frame thrower, frame thrower with the three bombs attached to the one muscle. Did the uh, small boy unit, the soldiers who were in the small boy unit, yeah. did they get any training to we, fight as it, soldiers? It's just training? three weeks three weeks only to know the gun that was all and what kinds of guns oh you just described what you were using but the weapons you use did other small soldiers use those weapons too yeah berita because it, it was just like this short easy to carry you know the the, the ak at that time the long butt is too long to be dragging so they used to give us beritas preparation that you have to go through as a small soldier at the time before going up to the battlefront any special preparation you had to go through before going to fight yeah they used to give us some preparation by our commanders they call it Nyangwe. sometimes they, they just do some marks traditional marks here they give up the medicine inside like that they say so you are okay or they give certain design tooth of the elephant you put it on your neck they gave you any drugs yeah. anything yeah we, we used to have drug supply from the civilian army at that time 
Yeah, we you and me was supposed yeah. to do drugs. What kind Asan of drugs? Asan one chief of staff in the Sevelium Army he used to bring drugs. The, the one other drugs that they call it brown. I used to take drugs for over eight to nine years before I ceased. So beside you at the time, other child soldiers were also taking drugs regularly to yeah. fight? Yeah, Adama Roja, I was having one of my friends too. Everybody was taking drugs because they, uh, they deem it necessary without drugs. You cannot perform well on the front line. You, you need to be half somehow. So this person from the Sierra Union Army was supplying the drugs. Who, yeah. who were those that were issued all the drugs to you, uh, child soldiers? The commanders. Can you name some of your commanders who were assigned with you who issued all drugs? Some commanders, I would say m many are diseased today. Like Free Color is dead. The younger brother of Free Color, T Color, is to E2 is dead. Any alive that you know of or you can remember? Only people like Ama, Yulu, I would say they live in now. What was the condition with the SBUs when you went on the battlefront, if you got wounded or if you got killed, what happened? Your families knew what were happening with you. Anybody contacted your family to say your son died at the at the war or what happened when you got hurt? When if something family, happened to the SBU uh, yeah. on the battlefront, maybe if you got hurt or something, what would happen to you? Like I was fired. Were you, were you taken care of? Was there any special? attention showing you because you were young if i was taking care of child soldiers not only yeah. you but all of you svu they they, they used to pay attention to us that one i cannot lie they used to do it we come down to town they buy you t-shirts jeans sneakers you get your key bag behind you for every time we come down when they go to the headquarters they give them money sometimes they do share it just for your mind to be relaxed since the trc started collecting statements and listening to testimonies there have been a lot of stories about women being raped young girls being raped older ladies being raped when fighters enter the town or capture the town they also set houses that blaze did you have to do any of these things as child soldiers? Did you have to rape women, small boy units? Did you have to burn down homes, kill anybody? Yes, we, we did. The only thing I cannot remember raping, we killed at that time. We do point horses. I earlier on even made a statement there that sometimes we sit around, we we do clinch of the coin. Like me and my friends sometimes, like Junior, Free Color, Amara Roger, sometimes we sit down together, we say, look, tomorrow we will be having a mission. The mission is for us to capture for now but what will enter for now who is going to be the leader for killing today maybe junior junior free men will come and say ah what will do you like clinch one coin up will be laughing will clinch the coin up if i be the first the hair come for me on the ground the day is for me so for any execution they want to we will look for Either Sherry, they say you're call Sherry because SBU unit know already that we have already clinched. So we used to enjoy the funds at that time because we never knew the repercussion. So if you toasted the coin and yeah. then the, whoever they had to you choose your day, you will choose the day yeah. that you will be the If you are lucky, plenty people being rescued, they bring them, they say this for execution is your day. You all have to also do the same bet on women too, maybe women who will be raped. Did the execution include women? There were stories of pregnant women, stomach being open. 
you have to go through any of that or they deny you as a person for other child soldiers? It happens. We we used to do it. It happens. We open people's stomach, they take up the, the intestine of one, the other one you hold it together like this, you tie it as a checkpoint. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Yeah. Mr. Witness, mm -hmm. my name is Commissioner Pearl Brown Bull. Mm -hmm. You Mohammed Sheriff? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much for coming to give your story. Very interesting story, very interesting information to us and to the public who are listening and to those who encourage you to come. So I have to ask certain questions only for my clarity. Yeah, welcome. I saw a statement that you were reading from and I interrupted and asked you whether that was your own handwriting, what type or so, and you said you wrote it. And since we don't have a prepared statement, like witnesses come with prepared statement, could you please allow Mr. Hearing Officer, could you please bring me in the statement that was written by the witness so I can uh, ask my question from there. Later on, we will, because you soon and he said hey, we will yeah. make photocopy. Mm -hmm. Please give me the statement. No, the other one too. No, this yeah. one is just rough. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, everything you read from it, well written. There's some there too, that one. Yeah, bring it. I'm missing here with my paper right here. The camera, I'm sure that the camera on me. Mr. Chairman, I know that his notes and taking his own handwriting. I can read. Mr. Witness. Uh, following the uh, question of my colleague, Commissioner Massa Washington, asking you, what are you doing now? You said you are a mechanic, right? Yes, ma'am. You got a mechanic shop or you were working along with someone else? I was working along with someone else, but for now... Right now, are you working at all? No. So you're not working at this stage? No, ma'am. In your recommendations, like the TRC have to make recommendations, you recommended that the big people in the war, that well, they, they should prosecute them, and that the property and thing that they took, that they have, that they took, which the government should take it to use it to help. The victims. The victims, yes. Now, from your testimony, your own testimony, that's over radio and before us, yeah. you, Mr. Sheriff, said, I see here you are from 1991 to the time the war ended here, the ceasefire, 2003. Yeah. You were fighting. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. You also said that you looted. You are killed. You killed. You looted. You burned down places. Now, do you want also, since you looted, and what are the generals looted or whoever looted, that do you have some of the looted goose and property that you got so if we recommend prosecution and you prosecuted? that some of the looted goose too that you looted and some of the people
water you kill they die too but they are victims of the people who survived the relative that will be able that the persecutors will be able to take your property and what you looted also to give to the victims are you prepared to turn over what you looted and the killing that you did to the victims also and also for what you did to be prosecuted uh, are so you prepared i'm prepared ma all right the record will show that so in case we'll be able to keep the looted goods and thing that you have so we can be able to identify them secondly uh what the level of education how far do you go in school i went up to talk loud i problem. went up to seventh grade at that time you went but up when to we school? went to seven we were still going to school in the refugee camp around waterloo there they were having a public school there in and waterloo yeah then you went up to how much from seventh grade that would be you to go to seventh grade yeah all right i just one here i see your I statement that you said you wrote in your own handwriting and i'm very much impressed with the words that are used here especially when you said that the democratic process i begin saying the truth nothing but the truth so help me god with all no fear or favor and especially you said my conscience is clear i'm not putting you on test but just as you say you wrote this and this what so help me god i just want you could you spell the word conscience conscience because it's written here i'm just that the first bit since you wrote this thing here that i was writing and so could you spell the word conscience c o n s c o n s e r n c all right thank you we take note of how you spell the word conscience and you have a very beautiful penmanship very good even better than mine um how about negotiations because especially i'm interested in this negotiation part because you say the npfl 1994 after the fall of banga we were called upon by ulimo kuke high command political win headed by shika fuma Kone, calling themselves inter in religious wait inter-religious in disguise rebel collaborators call commanders from banga to come to Mamoru, come to monrovia for negotiations we came and mr taylor and up buying us for four thousand united states dollars i would like for you to just spell the word collaborators no it's not that i'm because you said you wrote this yourself yes c-o-l-l-a-r that's collaborate thank you we take note of the spelling of the word collaborators because they were written by yourself and in the same paragraph you said you came for negotiations could you spell the word negotiations it's not like people see are putting you for test n-e-g-r-e-t-r-e-t-r-o-n thank you we take note of your spelling of negotiation now where were you born mr witness I was born in Cape Man County, Papa District. What year? In 1979. Okay, but when you went to the TRC, you made statement there too, right? Yeah. Because I want to compare, because what you say, 
and what before us from the TRC to see what is correct and we'll see what. But when you went to the TRC, how many times did you go to the TRC? I went there once. You went there the one very, time? Then later, I was called by the investigation group. Mm. I think twice. You were? Yeah, three times. Three times? Yeah. So the three times you went, did you speak to the same person or you spoke to different people? For every occasion, I spoke to different people for every occasion. Uh, you remember who you spoke to? I, I cannot recall their names, but I know them officially. You know their faces? Yeah. Was it in the uh, 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 investigated unit? The second one was with uh, Mr. Sherry. Sherry? Yeah. With. Okay. Yeah. And the first one was with who? You can't remember? No, the first one I, I made my my statement in front of everybody. Before everybody yeah, in the investigated the unit? UNDP, they were having guests from UNDP. Okay. When you were talking, I also heard you say you thank straight from the heart because they really help you with your traumatization. So at any time, did any representative from state from the heart accompany you, I mean, carry you to TRC? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Were they there when you were giving your statement? They were present. They were present? Yeah. Okay. So I'm sure we know who, who you said it as state from the heart. Did they also tell you what to say? They will not tell me what to say because okay. I already know what All to right. say. All right, thank you. Now, I will proceed. The TRC people, people here say, that's what it, we ask you first when you start talking. The, the month here, can you tell our month you were born? February 7th. February 7th. February. 7th February. February. But the TRC people got it because you know age important. Yeah. You told them you were born February 7, 1977. Now you say you are born 79. Okay, 79. so that's the first thing wrong and that is first thing after your name. So today TRC thing, please let the record show you are born 1979. And that will make you 12 years old when you started in 1991 eh? yeah and now 14 because i checked 12. 91 so 90, 91 you are 12. 92 you are 13. 93 you are 14. 94 you are 15. i come back to what written here in such beautiful penmanship from your speech and of course the public as well as I take notice of the spelling of those words. I come to how it's chronologically put together here too. I come to 1994 when you're supposed to be 15 years old when this negotiation headed by Ulimo High Command Political Wing Shika Fuman Kone. Now, you are 15 years old so were you you still could be a child soldier now because they say 18. so as a child soldier were you because you say yeah yeah so were you among the group we were called upon by ulimoke high command at shika fuma corner the political wing you were called upon now to come to banga and they negotiated you for four thousand dollars. Were you in the de among the distinguished delegation and to that meeting? Where? Yeah, I asked. Nineteen and a chronic it, it happened in Banga that we came to Moravia. So Mobile. you were in a delegation. You I were was there, there because the, the the most senior commander at that time, Pepper and Saul, he was just eighteen years. So they talked to, but then 
they talk to you and they didn't talk to the big high command because then you limo then was headed by Alahachi Koma. Because you just said that they should hold the higher people responsible for the crimes that were committed. So on this such important delegation, when they were coming to negotiate terms now for Ulimo Koke to come to work with Taylor, they sent your, what was your position at that time? I was a corner in Banga. You were what? A corner in Banga. Cornell? Yeah. So 1994, you were Cornell, Cornell. Yeah. And you were 15 years old. Yeah. Who made you Cornell? Kalahachi Koma? Yeah. Koma made you Cornell? Koma at that time. Okay. Where did he make you Cornell? Uh, where was the ceremony performed? <laughs> that was a, a battlefront positions. They, yeah. don't, they, they, they don't usually observe ceremony. The they don't observe, but at least they have a place. They have a place. By, by, by radio station. So where did Alahaji Koma tell you or pronounce at least somebody else was there unless Jerry told you what place it was? What area? Because we have back up It was from in Bomi. It was in, in Bomi. In Bomi? Yeah. So you were made what year, Colonel? What year you were Colonel? Yeah. What year? What year they well, made you Colonel? Because you well, remember plenty of other things here that were written chronologically. Yeah. So was, what year you became Colonel? In 93. So 93, oh, you were 14 and he made you Colonel in, in Pommy Hills. Yeah. All right. The record will show whether Koma was in Pommy Hills. How many of y'all he made at that time? How many people, because you were fighting 14, how many of y'all were made corner? We were plenty. So well, other people were promoted to the rank of general, La like Pepe and saw the time he was in Bapolo before we came for the Banga mission in 92, before going there. So, you were corner. But I, I just want to remind you, because we got dates here, I see from the paper where the TRC people got here. They say you were corner you demoke 1994 to 1995. So somebody not telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. Cornell. Bomi Hey Kitma Monrovia Banga 1994 to 1995. So who won't tell you the truth now? You or the people at TRC who wrote the paper? What year now? I, I keep on saying from 93 I was promoted. Okay, so. 94. Please let them. We were in Banga. Please let them correct it because they got your major for you limo 1992 to 1993. Because you see, the thing what we're talking about here is serious. Many people went to their grave just because somebody told. They say something about that person was a mistake. Then later, when they realized that was a mistake. So, I, Commissioner Paul Brown Boo, when I put my hand to something to say this for somebody or that for somebody, another person, I want to make sure that not mistake. Because this, anything. So, I'm beginning to see. The paper here, where you talk to TRC, do thing we don't tell what you talk, it'll be recorded. It'll be in paper. Then I see this well written paper with it very dates chronologically put, which I'm looking at. What on the paper, what you say here, and what you talk here, what on the paper. So that's why I'm questioning you on. I'm not trying to show you line. But I want to get my record straight. Yeah. All right, that's all. So if anybody hears now want to hear, that's what it is here because we're writing history. And I don't want for later on what I say, somebody can come and find out that it's wrong. Then we show we didn't do our research good. 
All right. So you came 1994 and y'all went to Banga and the political wing of Ulimo K. Do you know you stay where you limo until what year? You stay where you limo until 1995 according to what the TRC people paper put here. What year you stay where you limo? The paper rare. 94 was still with Ulimo when we were called upon to Morovia. That was the time we joined the MPFL now. 94? Yeah. All right. So when they came and your check came and she got Fuma Kone, so then if he was the chairman of the political wing of Ulimo K, then, what was Alahaji Kumar's position? Alahaji Kumar was the leader for Yulimuki. When this split came about, after we fought, we went to Banga because we was based in Banga. So the how they came from Morovia, they met us in Banga. Who because they came from Morovia? The 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 religious the, people. Yeah. They left, they went to Banga with two Toyota Hilux Jeep. They, they pick up them. They mm -hmm. sleep at they, yeah. they pick up them. Two with a big, big radar tires. One yeah. green, one red. Yeah. So they took the money, 25,000 US dollars, down there. But 4,000 that mm -hmm. he had received. Oh, you won't receive 4,000 yeah. 4, from the 25,000. Yeah. So the other. 21,000 what who they gave it to the, uh, our main commander at that time the battalion commander of Pepe and so Pepe so, so yeah, you were a general how many of y'all went to that meeting Pepe and so was there John Kujaba me then general combat to they came from Bomi to they two were on that meeting so they are six you were six? Four. Nobody knew. Me, Pepe and Saw. Pepe and Saw that one name. Pepe and Saw, yeah. Yeah, Jema Pepe and Saw. Jungu Jaba. Jeru Jaba, yeah. Sheriff. Yeah. Combat. Combat. Sheriff. Pepe and Saw. Jungu Jaba. Combat. And how about the people from Bomi here? He come back in from Bomi. One. Okay, so then $25,000 was divided with four persons. So you got four thousand. So everybody else got four. This thing where maybe now you, we can calculate. I want to ask you: When you came down, were you was it was it it a conference that were you you were supposed to have for the peace thing to see how they can make the peace? And you all didn't come by yourself. You was sent for. And that the Ulimoke send you as the representative for them to this we, meeting. We are not sent by Ulimo as representatives. Mm -hmm. Ulimoke was stationed mm -hmm. in Bomi. Yeah. Then we too we were in Banga. Mm -hmm. Then that the MPFA oh, knew that. In Banga. Yeah, then that the MPFA knew that they cannot be able to take Banga from us. That was the time they sent them to go and convince us so we can be with the MPF, the Harper so, and saw John the convoy together with us with even King. You uh, you all were already stationed in Banga. Yeah. Okay, so you were not in Bomi Hills so then let me look at the record. You are stationed in Banga yeah. and you are living among MPFL people regularly. Or you are or or, or you limo man. No, you are not getting me. They, no, I'm not getting you. Yeah. That they, the they, the Banga of itself were under our own com command and control. Ulimo at that time. Okay, so Banga yes. have fallen yes. to Ulimo. Yeah. Okay. So the only way out mm -hmm. is to fish commanders mm -hmm. to join the MPFA. And so then they can have corridor 
enquête de police, on a la commune. Ok. So, when Deshik Kafuma Kone, who was the political leader of Yulimoke at his that time, no, the guy here, reading here, was the paper. Oh, oh, it's written here, just like that. Yeah. It, when he, we all went to Banga, that was him and who else? Because you talk about religion. But Kamara, so, they call him Papi Kamara. So, I want to say there was a meeting, right? Because you say among these guys are interreligious, because it's written here, calling yeah. themselves interreligious. And how they used to call themselves interreligious group. Okay, yeah. So, and we knew them to be supporting us because we used to be short of rice in Bomi. Mm -hmm. He knew they did it for us. So, we came to Clarata gas station. They put in car, they send it to Alaji Kuma in Bomi. Short of onion, salt, and small, small thing, chicken soup. Uh, and chicken soup. Yeah. And they send it to Kuma. Yeah. They did it. And so you're is okay. Someone is a failure, none. It was just for you. It's only for, for military men military men and the military yes. men didn't get anything to the civilian if, if you you know you 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 have friends you can do that okay. you have your friends you can share with them but the supply doesn't come purposely for for civilians at that time i think they were having ngo groups oh, that okay. used to take the bubble yeah. wheat along for them okay i've just not much more question because i really admire your penmanship and your level of spelling they are themselves interreligious in disguise could you spell interreligious for me it's written here in your hand ready interreligious i-n-t-e-r r-e-l-i-g-r-o-u-s and could you spell disguise disguise Yes. D I S G U I S E. Correct. Thank you. Um now so you left Banga, you so you came over and joined NPFL. Yeah. Do you can you tell me were you aware of when Sheikh Kafuma Kone and Alahachi Koma for Yulimoke fell out? When he left them or when he continued to be the political leader? When he Sheikh left them. Yeah, and when he and Koma fell out. Because there were other people who became, were political leader for Yulimo K. So this what, you know, I want to know, because you are with them up until, from this paper, you were sheriff. 94. Yeah, 94? Yeah, 94. Where the paper got you up with them up until 1995. So up until 1994, they, so the, the TRC paper say 95. Because you know we got twenty thousand statements, so for you, your own paper to come out for you to be called upon to talk, then definitely the TRC people saw it very important that you have good information to give because you represent plenty of other people. So we have twenty thousand statements you unking or so with good information. You also talk about. General um, Bla, Mose Bla, um, in the killing of Bakari. Uh, so, do you know when Shika Fuma Kone and, and Alahachi Koma Yulimoke fell out that they ch chose somebody else to be political leader? I, I cannot be able to tell you. You know, that, eh? Yeah, the time they fell out because I was not with Yulimoke at that time now. But so yeah. for up on the town you left. But he was still with them. He was still I with left. them. Yes, right. okay. he was still with them. All right. Do you also know the other religious people 
who are honoring it, guys are interreligious who are interacting with you because then you went on to MPFL now. So do you know the other interreligious people who are acting on the guys or religion who are who you yeah, saw? Yeah, I, I, I earlier on said Mr. Sherry is now at Douala. Douala. He says at Douala he, got, he have a stool there. There will Papi Kama, one other Papi, we used to call him Papi Kama. But you, but know, you know none of the other people who are not wearing gowns, like the one who are wearing color, and, and any of the other religious people, you didn't know them. You didn't know their names. No, I don't know their name. You don't know, I don't know their name, coach you. But you knew Shika Fuma Kone oh? and Mr. Sherry. You knew Shika Fuma Kone. I know him, I know him. Even know, in the I dark, him, even yeah. in the dark, I know okay. him. Okay, all right. You said after my orders came, that is now in your paper your G O L R U F and for my reports 2001-2002. I'm reading from your well prepared statement. After my order came to articles by the President Taylor through General Yeten, everybody was surprised for the order of retreat where we were taken to Tante in the town called Blow, together with Sam Buckery and his family. An order was for us to be tied. Sam Buckery was called upon to go and eat. To eat what now? Eat together with the Vice President Mose Bla, General Yating Joe Twe. After eating, General Yetin told him to escort us to an unknown destination. So when you came from Aracos to the Tayu, don't that period when yeah. Bakari? Yeah. Do you know why? Do you know why no. after joining them and why they decided to tie you with the group? Because to their own thinking, they thought we should have put on resistance. Resistance with who now? With the reinforcement that came from Monrovia to do the mission execution. They thought maybe the other co commanders should have put on resistance. It, it's not even me so, alone. Okay, so since you already put up resistance to fight, then they tie you because, and they tie you. They tie from your statement here, your well written statement, membership, it, you, it seems as though they tie you first. Yeah. So they tie you before they even invite Bakari them to go in to eat with Mose Blai eating him. So that's why we're asking eh, why they tie you when you said the after an order came after you say you were in Ari Coast and the order came from Charles Taylor yeah. for you to come. Yeah. So you came there now, then they just tie you. And how you when, know that Charles when, Taylor get our order? Yeah, when when we were even in Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. before we could retreat to camp, mm -hmm. there was that rumor. Rumor, yes. Yes, the rumors were all over the the front lines. They say they are going to arrest Sam Bokari, but Ben that Sam Bokari knew that his mind was clear. That how he said, I will I will still go there because Charles Taylor is my father. There is nowhere I can go. Because they say when they went on the meeting to Burkina Faso, other special forces that were in Burkina Faso, Saint Bokari, narrated certain story to President Taylor here yeah, about Charles, uh, about Saint Bokari, what he did or who then he talked to in Burkina Faso. There lies the problem. When Saint Bokari came back, he put everybody together. He told us exactly what happened in Burkina Faso. Then after one week, the order came on the ground. So we keep on saying, but Sam, if you, can, if you know already that this situation is like that, then why didn't we stay here and join these other people or join the, the lawyer forces side 
so we we can be part of these people or you, you prefer going there i say no problem i will still go there chancellor is my father i get nowhere to go i will go there he will not do nothing to me oh uh, thank you i want you to look at this one two three four five sheets of paper and compare the writing way one Mohammed Sharia one two three four five six seven eight nine ten these are the ten sheet and the five sheet Mr. Yeri officer please come back for the paper I want you to look at the writing yeah and the ten sheet of the ten sheet paper you have and that one was interesting simply because of the wordings you were using. The ten sheet of paper and the other five sheet here, you see the handwriting quite different. So please uh, explain it, showing this one and showing this. Can you can you please explain it? The yeah, the handwriting completely different. And with it, you know, they're giving information, you limo cake, capture this, a different time, a different name, so it's could you could you just explain it because you talk old and i asked this, this handwriting before i could prepare this this okay. one I, I i brought here now oh. it was just rough i was relaxed writing like this yeah but when i wanted to prepare this i know i'm going to present this so i make it in block letters according to what i see yeah and I wish all of you have explained it. Yeah. Your more relaxed handwriting is a handwriting that is very different. Yeah. The word, I mean the shape of it, how it did the letters, all different from the one that you sat and you say you prepare to give. That's what I observe. And they have something you call handwriting experts. Who can see whether that is in here writing yeah. so i close on that thank you that the 10 the 10 page hand writing is different from my eye or layman from the other one and you please make photocopy or all and let him sign each sheet because uh, it's interesting and i want to follow it up and after secondly the last question you said when you went to trc and you made your statement yeah. then the people begin to threaten you now all statements made by trc that's why i wanted to ask who did you talk to how many persons you talk to because just like even us we didn't see your statement that they sent it to yeah yeah he made a public statement yeah so you made a public statement here yeah. At 9th Street. At 9th Street. Yeah. At a statement taking time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And at the time we say, okay, statement like this for people. Thank you very much. Okay. Mr. Wilson, for your testimony. You said, I John, the limo at the age 12. Yeah. How are you doing this? Did it come voluntarily? I stated in my statement before that I was arrested in the night because when they requested for mayor power from the ex AFS soldiers that fled from Liberia, they went to Severion that have was taken from the refugee camps because they know they cannot be able to get more men on board. So they went to our, the, the boots we are having, we are collected and taken to Waterloo training base. They call the base Perkuma. From there we were taken down with Chopper to Toma Base in Kenema, just for three weeks. And you remain with the fighting force of the 2003, is that correct? Yeah. At that time, you were above age. Were there any point in time you decided to leave the fighting forces? 
knowing that you are of age now and the things that are happening on the front, you are not comfortable with them? When we were in Monrovia during the time when I start coming to myself, we came down to Monrovia. I was living around 11th Street. I decided within myself to go to the American Embassy so I could give up my arms and do something extra. The information came. Benjamin 18 went for me to my house to go and check for me so I can be arrested for them to bring me on the mansion ground. But the information hits me, I went down to Yela Motel, somewhere around GSU A Road there, they get Yela Motel there. I was in Yela Motel for one week. I used to pay my own money, the, 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 the motel B. I had a C information went to him. They came and arrest me with SS-13. At that time, another commander, Superman, they call him Dennis Mingo. He too was here. He went down to Redo Duko, the old Duko, the old hotel building there, Duko. They went, they arrested him to Duko. They take him from Duko, they carry him back on the front line. I spent 18 days in jail on the mansion ground that had General Budo went and talked to the president so that I can be released. When they took me from here, we flew to Vam. Yetin Allah uh, ordered uh, uh, Caesar Maza, for the Caesar Maza, to dump me in the auto pit hole. The auto pit, they have one auto pit on the air strip there, where they get the UNDP building. Yeah, it's an auto pit in front of the, the building. They dump me inside, the auto pit was closed, they closed it up with cement. They deployed men on top of that auto pit. The story, most of the commanders knew about that story. That after three days, I should be executed. In the night, they were sleeping. But then that the cement that they, they, they wanted to seal up the auto pit with, it never get dried up that night. So they were sleeping because they were in liquor. Everybody was drunk, hoping that in the morning they would kill me. I came out in the morning by stretching my two palms on the auto pit. Uh, to do like day, slowly he opened. I jump outside, but luckily for me, everybody was sleeping. Even down to Caesar Maza was sleeping in the room. I went. I commanded one weapon from one of the bodyguards of Caesar Maza who was sleeping side by him. I took the arm. I went straight to the godfather Dopo Mekazon. They call him Dopo Mekazon, Chief Dopo. I said, Chief. What he really I do, what the people want to kill. He said, but shall we must say, I don't know. The people say you want to nab you and Superman to go surrender to American embassy. So you won't care the people secret down there. Ah, I said, but I know I will. But it was true who planned it. The high far escape route for me from found, they put me in car the same night. He brought me down to Moravia. After three days, that was the time we heard that they already key Superman to USC. They say for betraying. He was one of the the ex army fighters, and boy, he was a librarian too. From Kakata, he got a family there. He brought her two living right now to some of the second barry there. Thank you for that clarification. You are one of the first people that joined the end, uh, Yulemo, is that correct? Yeah. And then you said that you had a group of 30 or small children. Yeah. 
besides that group? The Jilimo had other battalions that were composed of adults? Yes, there were other battalions like Zebra. EBK1 today in the Lord Rebel was in Zebra. And then can you speak to us about the leadership structure? How come you are back and small, small, one of the small children in the unit, but you are so close to the command structure? What was the relationship? Did you relate to command directly or you have other people you are supposed directly, to Directly, directly. We never used to, to operate by ourselves. If the commander knew that we, they have certain SBU within the SBU unit that is brave, they want to accomplish a mission, they will use that group to be the leading forces to enter that tank. Because then that they knew that those with conscience they are conscious of what they're doing. It's not easy for somebody to just go at the front line where you know it's hard to challenge bullet or dying by leaving your woman behind, leaving your family behind. You keep thinking. So those days we don't even think. Who are general? Who are an immediate supervisor? In LUDF, we are having one of our commander who is now a disease, major free color. He died right on Bowada Side Bridge. One of the first people that gave testimony that gave statement to TRC. Yeah. And then you know that in this process the truth is very, very important. Yeah. And then you honor oath that everything you see here is the truth. But nothing but the truth. You talk about General Kape when General Kape was killed, you were present. Besides you, can you name other people that were present? Besides me, the brother of General Bambagida, who they call him Philip Kamarana. They call him Philip Kamarana. I don't know. He, li he was living somewhere around Blagina. I used to see him before. I don't know now where he lives. The time during the presidential campaign, we used to meet to Asha Conan Horse. And one other military police from LUDF to the call MPG. He was he was present. He lived somewhere around 16th Street down the beach. They having one unfinished building at there. That's the place he lived. Can you speak to us about the Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. And then we've been told over and over that the people in front of us were trained to respect the civilians' rights. At no point in time we were told to kill civilians. Can you comment on that? And can you say whether the, the leadership was there, told you to open the guns of people and use their intestines? I doesn't believe that that they used to do it during the training time or was they used to concentrate on how to teach us the weapon, how we get on the front line. We doesn't observe no international standard of revolution. No way. We are not told that when you meet this, you meet this. This is what you're supposed to do. No, they just teach you the weapon, shows you how to crawl shows you how to attack your enemy position that's what's all so are you saying that you were told to burn villages if the order comes from them we just have to do it you don't do it at did you receive any order yeah always for everything we used to do is based on order if i do my own thing who did i you know who did there you was receive a, the order from to burn villages can you name some of the people you receive order from to burn villages and open the people's stomach? We receive order directly from from opening stomach. There were certain commanders we were close to. The the, the, the command can come 
like for instance example you limo allergic to mass say okay you get to bomb and make sure and put bomb under control this is my imperative order by all means right if we hit for the first time we doesn't capture the time when we're going back to the rv the play where we go and rest and refresh ourselves to re-attack again you will ask for another order and that order will be different again they too will tell you makes part of that town look like a ghost town then what does that mean it's like a ghost town then you expect everybody you expect plenty and looting etc etc who gave you those orders yeah who the leaders can you name the person because like you had people that you are working with like alaji kuma alaji gv kuma amayulo who were having tea color there 24 hour bobo, uh, bobo aruna who was a general base in clay sako city who died by 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 the order of alaji kuma to inform he was one of the ulimo j fighters so are you saying that you are talking directly to Kuma and, other, and Ama Yulu? Directly to Kuma because Kuma is leading. He have all orders for Yulimo. He says that if Ama Yulu does something out of the way, there is a constitution at that time that they do go back. It happened one time we came to Fono, certain group of men tended to rape. They nigger the girls, they were about to go on them. The how they were arrested, they sent them back to Jama, to the crossing point where Amar Yulo was based. All those that committed crime at the front line, we are executed. Who executed them? Amar Yulo by the K-5s. Because they committed crimes? Yeah, on the front line. But you're saying that they sanction this crime. Yeah. So how can they sanction but if, crime? if the order is not being given to you, you do it. Then you are doing your own thing. They say FFR. But if the instruction comes from the superior in rank to you, you need to execute that order. So if you see those times we used to burn down house we can't just do it because we want to burn down no way you can you can't try it it's directly from the high command to you because when you do that enemy comes around they know this is the play of yulimo if even they want to seek and hold that identical town they will say no let's go ahead and lead the town because the town is looking somehow dangerous who doesn't know how all the people died here so you're less retreat and go back but if they come they don't see no trace of human being laying down no designs you say you are in banga when banga fell yeah is that correct yeah. and you remain in banga and join the npfl yeah now tell us about the pb massacre were you part of the pb massacre pb massacre no yes no so what do you know about PB Massacre? I cannot tell you anything about PB Massacre because people went there. But you were in Banga? Yeah. And you joined the MPFL that time? 94. When did PB Massacre happen? When did we leave Banga? Did Not you leave Banga after Banga fell? Or you remain in Banga and join MPFL? Yeah. So the PB massacre happened immediately when NPFL took over? Banga. Yes. Yeah. So I, I what do you know about PB massacre? I can only tell you about something where I was at the sea. I can tell you. But not somebody coming to tell so you, you oh, we've done scene. this. Yes, we've done this. So there is no need of me telling you that this, this, this. No. I want to be there. I was there. I can tell you.
the battles you are involved in, how many battles you fought? How many battles? The war fronts. I know you are in Banga as one. Where I fought else? in Vonjama. You fought in Vonjama? Yeah, the whole of Lofa County from Fuya, Fuya, Tinkia, coming down. Fought in Bomi. Fought in Swain. We went bomb mines. So, how you treated the civilians? Hmm? How were you treating the civilians? Well, it's, it's, it's just like when the revolution was, was reaching to a certain pitch at that time, people start getting conscious who have a unit that used to take care of the civilians. We used to treat them good at that time. There was a unit now that used to take care of the civilians then. They go out together with the civilians, they go to call rest, they, they, they dig up cassava, they can, they cook, they got special buildings where they used to sleep by themselves. You see, at age 14, you are very close to the command structure of Yulimo. Did all the SBU had the same privilege you had? The same privilege? Yes. Yeah, even junior free, the, 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 the late free color. We used to say that free color son here. He too he was one of the commanders. Then one other picking too. They call him Kamara. He's here in town. Small Kamara too. He was promoted and he have the same incentive. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to testify. Thank you too. I want us to get some clarification. From you. you are welcome. Is it true that you were recruited at Waterloo in Sierra Leone? At where? Waterloo. Yeah, Waterloo. Wait when I finish the A base wait, in wait, Benguma. Wait when I finish yeah. the <clears throat> Is it true that you were recruited from Waterloo by Raleigh Siki, Amayulu, and the late Abba Carpet? Yeah. When this took place? When it took place? Yeah. When you were recruited? It was 9th July. I can still remember the 9th of July. Nine we of were July. taken to Benguma Barry. One from, year. From there, 1991. 1991. From there, we were taken down to Toma Base with helicopter gunship. Is it also true that you were a fighter for LUDF in that same 1991 in Serenia? I was what? A fighter. Yeah, a fighter for LEDF before coming back to Unimo. Where the fighting took place? In Sierra Leone or on the shore of Liberia? LUDF started fighting in Sierra Leone. We started Kujau, Potoru, Daru, some part of Kono, Tongo. And who were you fighting at the time? We were fighting rebels who were trying to infiltrate into Sierra Leone from the, both the MPF. Do you know the name of that rebel group? Who? Do you know the name of that rebel group? The rebel group that you were fighting in Sierra Leone under LUDF. The rebel group that were fighting in Sierra Leone. You said you fought in Sierra Leone yeah. under LUDF. Yeah. Then I asked you, who were you fighting? He said the rebels. The rebels. What is the name of the rebels that were fighting to enter Syria? We were fighting both the MPF and the, the RUF. Because at that time, the civilian army deemed it necessary that Liberians only know how to push back these guys that, that came from Liberia. So that was the time they were ordained by the president 
Joseph Sadu Momo at that time, giving them the C rank that the civilian army officers carry the C incentive. We were given uniform, we were brought down on the front line, we started operations. According to records before us, yeah. we are told that you fought for Ulimo as a major. Yeah. And that you fought in bombing Kitman Bakulu from 1992 to 1993. Is that correct? Yeah. 94, that correct? 94 to 1994. To I 90 said after the fall of Banga. I have not reached Banga yet. I'm saying. You fought as a fighter for LUDF, a mere fighter. Yeah. Me, foot soldiers. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Did you hold any rank at the time? A major, I end up in corner 94. No, no, I mean, I'm talking about when you were fighting in Sierra Leone. In Sierra Leone. Did you hold any rank? They, 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 at first, when we were trained, they give us sergeants, some people, couple. Some other so people left in it. Yeah, I, I, what was I, your rank? I was a WO when we came from on the training base. Yeah, WO. Yeah, because I used to pen down my friends. WO one, yeah, WO two, WO one. And that when you started fighting, before you started fighting for Ulimo as a combined Ulimo, you fought. In bombing Kitman Bapulu with the rank of major. Is yeah. that correct? Before I started fighting? Yeah. Or when mm -hmm. we entered the soul of Liberia? Huh? I started fighting in Sierra Leone with LUDF. No, I, we finished with LUDF. Yeah. When LUDF was changed to Ulimo, mm -hmm. you were promoted to the rank of major. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you fought in bombing Kitman and Bapulu. Yeah. And Bapulu that, all the way down to Fuya. And that happened 1992 to 1993. Yeah. Can you say why this double promotion? Was it because you were notorious in your fighting? And therefore, you, you, you deserved that double promotion from PWO to general, I mean, to major. That's leaving, always the case. Leaving yeah, that's always the case on the front captain. line. When you are brave, you are strong, they do promote you. So you were one you, of the... You can even come from the rank of sergeant, they say today you are a captain. So you were, one of, the brave, you were one of the bravest soldiers. I was but not the previous. I was among the brave. You were among the previous brave commanders. So, yeah, that was a one of. Yeah. The record also shows that when Yulimo divided into two, where there was Yulimo K and Yulimo J, you started fighting for Yulimo K. Is that? Yeah. At the rank of corner. Yeah. And that you enjoyed that title from 1993 in your own uh, correction. To 94. To 1994. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? You are correct. We also got up from the records. That from 1994 to 2003, you fought on the NPFL and NPP-led NPP government as general in Banga, in Morovia, in Guinea, and in Africa. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, you are correct.
you are, are among those who fight, participated in the fight from 1991, and you remain there up to 2003. Yeah. Can you tell us when did you go to the TRC headquarters and how did you go there? How did I get to the TRC? Yeah. And when? And when? I think it was I think 2002, 2007, I think. I cannot recall the, the years now. I think 2007, I think, the first hearing at 9th Street. Did you give statement or you were just interviewed? I was interviewed from the hearing that I made at the office of the TRC at 9th Street. We are guests, we are invited from UNDP, the VFP, other NGO groups. The record before us shows yeah. that your interview was done on the 19th of January 2009. Do you confirm and affirm this? 2009. Yeah. The time I went to TRC? Yeah. No. It's, 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 I think it's the last. It's the last. last. Yeah. But last you remember time. you were, how many times you were interviewed? I went for the hearing. It was one, I was called upon one day when I received a call from Mr. Sherry that used to be in the investigation unit. Johnson, who was the chief of security for TRC at that time, called me. I entered the office. That was the time they recorded my statement. They say they would do the statement taking. And the statement was taken from me by then. Then, I think a week ago, before I could be invited here today, I was there too. Was that statement? reduced into writing and signed by you? The statement? Yeah, the first time you went there when Arthur Johnson was yes. head of the... Yeah. Uh, can I, you tell us if you know, did the inquiry section tell you why this last time of calling you on January 19, 2009 to give another interview? Did, you, did it tell you the, the rationale behind it? They they told me they wants to get they wants to get my whole profile. That was all I went there for. It was not a statement taking per se. So what they have here in the in this records is their own making. Yeah. Huh? It's the making of the inquiry section? The what is contained in this document? that is said it was taken on January 19, 2009 was their own making, not yours. Statement February 9, is it 2009? I said January 19. January 9. 19. I was only called upon, I said, I think a week ago, they said they want to get my profile that how the profile was written, they asked me a few questions. But previously I made statement. Your statement is unique and interesting. You said that I was the head yeah. of the political wing, the high, the high command of the political wing. Yeah, of Ulimo. Of Ulimo as, yeah. as, as a joint or Ulimo as K. Yeah, correct. Which one? Correct. 
Which one? Julimo when they were together or Julimo when they got the back? Julimo together, Julimo split. He was still there with K. Then yeah. I, 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 when, when Yulimo was together as a body, yeah. I was the high political command. Yeah. And I was the chairman of that command. Yeah. And when Yulimo split, I aligned myself with Yulimo K. Yes. You were in line with Yulimo K at that time, you already switched up. Yeah. To another revolution. It's true. Do you recall that the April 6th took place after Yulimo were divided? Yeah. And do you recall that I was at BTC where Yulimo JLPC were in control? You was at BTC. Yeah. Do you recall that? That one you don't know. It's something for you to, see, to, 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 to come up and say it yourself. I don't need to be monitoring where, where does Cheka Fumba live, where he goes. But all I knew, you used to aid, you used to support. We came down one time to Clavata uh, 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 gas station. We used to meet even the, the Lord rebel leader now, Sheku uh, Dabatikone, uh, sometime around them, they sit down. We came together with one major camera who they killed along Bomi Highway. Who died in Yulimo time who came to Morovia. He gave us logistics and we left. So why? If I know other people too who are seated here, I will be brave enough or bold enough to tell them the truth because we are here to say the truth, nothing but the truth. I want to be seen free. I can tell anybody. I want to be seen free. So why should I not have that integrity? Do I also understand you to have said, pardon me, that when you, when Yulimo K took over Banga, yeah, I led a delegation to Banga to talk to you people. You and your men went there at that time. Not a delegate, he told you. You and your men. Okay. In your language, me yeah. and my men went to Banga. Yeah. You were having Talk. people with you too. Huh? You, you, you were having some other men with you. Uh, uh, Papi Kamara, you all used to move together. The same Mr. Sherry are talking about, you all used to move together. You know, that Sherry. I know. You know the word yeah. of, of that Sherry. Yeah. You said we went to Banga to go and talk to you. Yeah. To break away from Yulimo K and yeah. John and PFL. Yeah. Did we do that discussion in Banga or it was done here in Morovia? It Which was one? done here in Morovia. It, it went for us, we came back, it was done in Morovia. We took you from Banga. Yeah. Put you in our vehicle. Not me alone. General Pepe and saw Yeah, this is what I'm saying. This is yeah. what I'm saying. You and the people who yeah. you said that we we talked with. And that <clears throat> when you came to Morovia. When we all came to Morovia. Okay, yes. where this meeting was held. Where the meeting was held. Yeah. We went down to some part of Cinco, the horse of the other commander that we came with, they call him General Comba. General who? Immediately you pass by Test Street, there is a house. When you pass by Test Street, they have a house close to the garage there. That was the place here my family were living. They are where we went. Who, who general? You said who general were living there? I said General Comba, you know him too good. General Comba? Yeah, combat. 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 C O M B A T. Oh, com combat. Yeah. I see. And there where we had a meeting. Yeah. And there where you received twenty-four thousand dollars. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. I was only giving four thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Yeah. With two vehicles. Yeah, two vehicles. 
Do you know Toyota who gave, Hilux? Do you know who gave Green those? and Ray. Who gave those vehicles? Who gave those vehicles? But you knew who gave who gave the vehicle. You 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 know it. You see, yeah. it's it, 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 it's not really funny. You know, people just take this thing to be a, a child's play. Where there is a truth, you say it. I do not hate you. You've never did something ugly to me before that I would just say I'm shooting at you. They have so many commissioners, they have so many people seated here. Why I can't go see you? But it's you, it's you. Yeah. So it's getting me surprised. You keep on asking me the thing that you you knows about, then you want to ask me double, 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 double. My question You need my clarification or you need yours? Which one? You have clarification. We are there. My question to you, welcome, is that the twenty four thousand dollars you talk about and the two vehicles were delivered to you. I mean the group that came, the four yeah. group that allegedly came. Yeah were given to you. Yeah. I'm asking, who hand delivered it to you? You did it to General Pepper and Saw. Late General Pepper and Saw may so rest in peace. Was this amount in in what denomination? In what denomination? The US. Was United US. States dollar. It was United States dollar. United States dollar. And since then, we even got an information at that time. They said the money was e even more than that. But we, we, we don't want to know all we, we knew at that time because we know they, they could have done it. And who told you that? Who that told the money was more than $25,000? Who told me what? You said you, you were even told that the money was over $25,000. Who said that to you? That it was over $25,000? Uh, $25,000. You say it was more. You did delivery. You can't deliver something without... We, we were, everybody was shocked. Everybody wants to get money. Everybody wants to know what was going on. I can't be a commander. I go down the line or I go behind the house. Seeing you coming, we all left from over there. We came back. Then why should I dress back to know how much? Or I doesn't want to know or I don't want part of the money i was there it was counted you turn it over they check it up no you said i can deliver to you yeah twenty five thousand dollars so. yes with two vehicles two vehicles one green but you one said green. in fact you were told that the amount was more than twenty five thousand dollars yes when, 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 when the money was already given to us, you came along with other people. At least, Pepe and Saul went to there, he asked them, he said, you're sure? They said, but we too, we know, but it looked like the money more than that. Because the people went and met with Taylor himself. Was there at the same spot? Or within the vicinity of where the alleged money was given to you and the vehicles? Pardon me? This information, you say, I came with some people. And it was these people who told them that the who money told was told me later when right. everything had been delivered. He left the vehicles, the money. And since then, you continue to fight for Mr. Taylor. Thank you. LPFL. Yeah. And then the government. When he became government is that correct you are there and he knows it do we understand also that you were an officer of the anti-terrorist union unit we were part of the atu I was were you an ATU. officer I still continue to carry on my general rank during that time. Were you an officer? Yeah. What was the rank you were holding? 
What? What rank you were holding at Geneva? In, in Geneva, ATU. Geneva. He was general. Yeah, at that time. Controlling. If you, if you can get to the whole of Nova County, the mission commander was me. The whole of Nova County, they will tell you when mosquito spray came back, we drove them back in Guinea. That one I can tell you, maybe you, you don't know about it, but others you do know. You also talk about <clears throat> a selling of Yulumo soldiers to the Sierra Leone government. And you say up to now, they are still... Yeah, they are still in the Sierra Leone army. army. Yeah, they are there. Can you name them? There are so many. Even one... Yeah, just name some. Those that you know. Kone Kuma. Kone who? Kuma. Kuma. Yeah, black. He's having one eye. What? One eye? Yeah. And what... Uh, Kone what Great Talu. His first name? Great Talu. Huh? He was in the former AFS Satu. One went for Trini in America, they call it Great Talu. He's still there. AFL Satu? Yeah. But you former don't know, AFL. You don't know his first name? No. We call him Great Talu. Great Talu. G I A Y. Great Talu. Great Talu. Yeah. Do you know his boss? Uh, I mean, his rank? I say Connect Great Talu. Kuma was general. No, he was a corner. Corner. You don't know his first name. Kuma. I think Mohamed Kuma. Uh huh. Do you know any other persons? The girl, one other captain, Captain Corner. I wonder all you know. Captain Corner. There are many. Uh -huh. They have other ranks, not officers, who are still with the civilian army. And you are prepared? Uh, even Pople, who is here today, he was there who? before, but he's here now. One who? General Pople. Pople? Yeah. He was in the civilian army, but he has been retired, he's here now. Are you prepared? If you are given the opportunity to travel through diplomatic channel to Sierra Leone to identify these people, yeah, will you be able to do it? Yeah, I'm prepared any time, any minute. Mr. Witness, the guy another one to Captain Wallace. He control air defense. Presently, seven. I, I, I even have some of these guys' number in my. Mr. Witness. In my diary book. All other pay agents that came before you to testify against us. Yeah. Particularly me. Yeah. Testified that I was. A loyalist of Ulimo K. But your testimony mm -hmm. tried to contradict that mm -hmm. that I denounce my allegiance and loyalty to Ulimo K and declare it to MPFL. Don't you think those who pay you to come and testify yeah. will be disappointed and they may not give you the balance that is supposed to give it to you? Say again. You, you heard me. Say I'm again. saying. Yeah. All other pay agents. Yeah. Pay agents. Yeah. So am I paid to come here? Those including you. But those who came ahead of you yeah. to testify against me all say from whom I was the loyalist. Don't worry, 
Yeah. I'm just asking you a question. Yeah. I'm going to hold a press conference and I will identify those people. No problem. So don't worry. I'm asking you, don't you think you have disappointed those people by saying that I renounced Unimo for and transferring my loyalty mm -hmm. to MPFL and MPP led government? Don't you think they are paid those who pay you to come alive? That they pay. They, you have disappointed them? I, I don't even know about anybody one day even paying me to say anything. The first time I appear at TRC, even my hearings, is what they say. I didn't deviate from saying that you were there. I never, ever. I did it. I made mention. They recorded it down. So why not? But, but, but you said you, you were called before on several times and lastly you were called for an interview. Very unique in the case of statement given. It's, it's, it's somehow, I don't know how they call it, maybe in your own uh, thinking but other people were there the first time i make my, my my presentation to the trc they were having guests other people i made my my my, my presentation from there i think after two or three months i was called they took my statement i was interviewed even by the mother who is over there who is seated over there mother she, mother who she she, she knew it that I, should, I, I put it in writing yeah. from there it was recorded again by a lady with uh, Mr. Sherry then it was this gone time they called me that they want to get my profile that was the time I went down you, have first, you say your first appearance yeah. before the TRC I made mention was you were called by Arthur Johnson Right? Arthur Johnson? Yeah, he said, the, what Arthur Johnson was Sheriff? Who? Sheriff? Sheriff he said Sheriff and what Arthur Johnson? The investigation call in the TRC called me that they wants to re-record the hearing that I did for the first time. After doing the hearing, that was the time they called me. I'm talking they about the, the statement taking. Was it the second time when you met Johnson, Arthur Johnson, or was it the first time? I mean, the first time you went to the TRC to take statement, or you, you are second time, that was the time you met with Johnson, Arthur Johnson, and Sherry? The first time I met with them, that was the hearing, the, the, the first hearing time I met with them. Okay, between met then second time it was in their own office downstairs. Johnson walked me there and they left me with them because they were having some computers to put uh, information in. But you agree how they called me. But you agree it was Arthur recorded. Was on those people who did that. Who? Right? Who? You agree that Arthur Johnson was among those who I, I cannot say this is the name of this person this is the name of this Who person because it was an office you know them it was an office i don't know everybody who is working at trc no but who johnson you call you call sheriff name i you said sherry the only person i can able to identify was sherry i doesn't talk about johnson oh it's don't, sherry don't, don't i was contradict yourself oh. you talk about johnson no you okay, are, you also talk about uh, uh, yes. Madame Gu. Yeah, I met Among that lady. Two, which one that met you first? Which one that met me first? Yeah. I was not able to recall. I think she she was the one. She met me the time she was very close to the chairman's office. She was having an office there. She, she met you first? Yeah. 
and she took your statement yeah and reduced it into writing reduce it into writing she did it yeah yeah that was yeah it. by asking me and she write to you yeah do you know when this happened Do you know when this happened? I think either 2000, 2007 or 2008, something like that. 2007. It was in 2007, I think. And through all those records, the several times you visited TRC office on the same mission, your records was never clear until December 19, 2009. That's the time, I mean, January 19, 2009. That was the time they got your, uh, what do you call it, your biography? That was the time the TRC got my biography. I was only called upon, I keep on telling you, it was day before yesterday, they said there were certain things that they left out. They need to get my, my whole profile my biography that had they called me I and went there I gave it to them so they so can attach it to my previous statements that I made before when you, when, you, when you make the previous statement you never give your biography they never asked me for that they never asked you. yeah and how many times you were interviewed and statement were taken from you if you can remember I, I get I, I get remember I think either twice yes twice two, two times yeah if it is two times then you, you recorded also a year what were the two times now when yeah what were the two times i want you to you, you call cecilia bull yeah you call the uh, sheriff and johnson i said johnson the chief of security he escorted me there because they were to the gate mining the gate where I enters that how the security to Johnson called Johnson they said they called for sheriff to TRC so please let take sheriff to the investigating bull that had a match me there because they were to the gate that they can't allow nobody to go I said but well, no they call me on the phone that's why I'm here the people say they won't see me they say but then that's the room they go there they will talk to you i went there they put a tape recorder with one other lady who was with them i came to the big uh, uh table outside that's where they took my statement too which recording also do you know how to get your telephone number the the people who you said they call you yes they called me because my friends Harry, yeah, from 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 the 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 TRC. When I get down to red light, I was having problem with some people that I even told them that they threatened me. So I came back in the office. The hard Johnson took me up. So they took they took my phone number down. They say for anything I need to call the 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 the, the, the security group of TRC they will come to rescue me up now can you tell us what year what month what date of the month and the year Johnson took you down to I cannot tell I cannot tell you don't know yeah I cannot tell you said you were threatened Please tell us, who are those who threaten you? Who are those who threaten you? Who threaten me? To yeah. red light. It was a younger brother of Alaji Kuma. They call him Mwame. He too is black. Then one other boy, what we need, they call him Tabra Sherry. Who all were assigned in Bomi. They were the special security to Alaji Kuma. He knows me well. He the one told him, he said, oh, that the sheriff one went to TRC over the newspaper, that the sheriff here, that how he walked to me. When he walked to me, we were having that tussle. 
So I left. I went to my horse. When I went to my horse, in the night, people came to the horse again. The same way. But at that time, I found a narrow escape from the other side of the window. I left. So it was how in the morning I brought the report to TRC. From TRC, when I went to Johnson, I told Johnson, he said, we'll later pass on the information to the chairman. I left, I went to Liberia National Police too. I made statement there to the OMI Commissioner of Police, they call it Idris. Commissioner Idris, he's a Nigerian, I made my report to him. Why did you take the courage to now come publicly when you know your life has been threatened to testify? When, Is when, it when I know to call to call the name Sheikh Kafumba? Yeah. Corner? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. And God bless you. Mr. Witness, Mr. Witness, yeah. Thank you so much, thus far. Um, I got one or two more questions to ask you. times you were fighting was there any time that uh, you were a part of any massacre massacre means the killing of more than five or so persons was there any time from Lofa to Bomi all of those places that you were at was there any time that you were a part of a massacre yeah, it used to happen even before we could even enter Liberia saw to start our fighting, it happened. Yeah, I mean. So many places, so many places. And you were part of it? Yeah. Okay. You said that the son of um Bokari was called corporal yeah corporal why did they call him that because he, he was the namesake of corporal sanko they say that's why of who corporal corporal sanko he was the namesake of corporal sanko oh so his his yeah. real name was sando no what was his real name apart from the corporal Everybody just used to call him Kopu. You say he was the namesake of who? Kopu Asan, because Kopu Asan was Fode. Oh, Fode yeah. Sanko. Yeah. So he was the namesake yeah. of Fode Sanko. Yeah. So that means that his real name was Fode Sanko. The boy's real name was Fode Sanko. Yeah. Okay. So that's why you're calling him um, Kopu. Okay. Where was Sam Bukhari killed? When was Sam Bokari killed? Where? 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 In yeah. Tia Play. In Tia Play? A town called Block. Tia Play? Yeah, Block. Was it any one of your leaders' town or so? The town of, at that time, Vice President Moses Z. Black. Okay, so it was Za, Black, and, and yeah, Town. Yeah, Moses Black. Okay. And they bury him there too? Yeah. You bury him there? Who? Bukhari. They no, they brought the body down to Moravia. That was the time they were camouflaging people. They say he fed in ambush. Oh, okay. The body was turned over to the president. I, I, I think they take it somewhere. I don't know. But we later had the information that they, they took the body to Sierra Leone to identify the body if really it was sent Bokari. Okay, coming back to um, Commissioner Shika Fumakone's role yeah. as the High 
comment of um, Yulimoke yeah. when he came to collect you people. Yeah. What did he say to you people? How 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 did the conversation go? That was the time I able to identify some of them. They talk because they they, they usually know we that go there. Excuse as, me. As men on I the I was saying when he came to see you. Yeah. You met somewhere, and eh? Yeah. What place you met? So many places before even Barak before they bring out to Morovia. So many places to go down no, to I'm talking about the Morovia. They were having one Lebanese guy. What we used to, what they used to take full stock from the coin, Georgie. George, he having a shop in front of Douala gas station there, George. They call the Lebanese man George. And the place they used to go. Excuse me. Yeah. The yeah. time he came to Manga to bring your down. Yeah. What play your meet air? Well we met. Mm -hmm. After Tell Street, where you pass by the UN, they have the UN. I don't know if they are hotel together or lodge, the UN lodge. After Tell uh, Street, Tell Street, where you no. pass by Tell Street, there is, there is one garage on the left. And I'm talking about in Morovia. I'm talking about in Banga. In Banga? Yeah. He, he, he met us in Banga itself to our where? headquarters. What play your headquarters were eh? Our headquarters were up the hill. They play what they get, the, the, the repeater, the antenna. They what? Yeah, yeah. Just how you enter Banga, you will see the, the radio station area there, where they get the antenna. There is a route that you can bend to, to take Lofa. Mm -hmm. Lofa Highway now, mm -hmm. by the police station there. Yeah, that where your office was. Yeah. Okay, what he told you when he got down from the car? The what? time you were in a meeting, what did he tell you? He told us that we should come down to Morovia, that Taylor wants to see us and negotiate with us. That time Taylor was in Morovia? Yeah, Taylor was in Morovia. That was what year you say? It was in 1994. 1994, you said yeah. Taylor was in Morovia. Yeah. Because they had left from the, 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 the peace. Uh, to do where they went, mm -hmm. the how we came. Your king. Yes, okay. I cannot recall now if it was him or over, I was stopping. I never saw Taylor, but they, I saw them. Okay, so one month in uh, 1994, the Sheik Kafuma Kone came to. I cannot Pana. be specific. You can't be specific. Yeah, because we're not doing things that tomorrow we can answer questions or tomorrow we will come up to see this. We can only sometimes recall yes. Okay. So you say at that time Taylor was in Morovia, yeah. That was what they said when they went. I keep on telling you. No, I tell you, you yourself, you know. No answer, you see him, but you know that he was in Morovia. That's what they say. They, they no, I'm not saying what they say. I say you yourself. You I know that they were in Morovia? I did not see him in Morovia. I did not see him. But they told us that he was here and he the one sent them and they came they gave us the pickup the house went back the ground was turned over to charge Taylor now the ground was for him now the house everybody joined them everybody that was in the ground there now on the ground who all joined so all of your joined yeah we never came back so you limo the whole of your group there we that were based in Banga in Banga yeah your left Banga yeah and all of your came down with Shikafuma Kone no the group that was stationed in Banga now joins that MPF revolution at that time now only few of us came down to Morovia then only later we went you? back and do report to other men who met on the ground okay the, so, high, the whole area was 10 over now we all mix up up with other commanders from MPF now tracing one another talking they will come down to Morovia finally. So that place there now, when you left that place, who you are left in charge of the area? Of the area where yeah. we were coming? Yeah, when you were coming, who you are left there? To take care of the place because you got to come first, yeah. then you talk with the people, yeah. then they give you the money, then before you go back now to say that thing they play over. So who you are left there? We were having one other commander who left on the ground they call him Lancaster he tore black 
La Casa. Yeah, La Casa. So that either one you left there, where is yeah. La Casa? I don't know he really is La Casa. No, I said, what play he air, Nana? He's here. He's here, he's here in Morocco. Yeah. You know what play he air? I can't tell you. I don't know. Okay. All right. The time she then came to to Banga, how many of you people were there? Your troop, the size. I think we are almost close to three hundred men. Three hundred men. Yeah. You were about three hundred men, yeah. and all the three hundred men that were your the four leaders that yeah. were there controlling yeah. the three hundred men. Yeah. Okay. So when they came and they came to meet with you, all the 300 men saw them. If they saw them. Yeah, they saw she get coming to come be up because normally when you know your heart command and coming, maybe you can say, oh, everybody, you can, our heart command and coming. So we need to meet to welcome them or something like that because that time now, Chancellor was not in Bangana. You're the one where the people there in Bangana. Your group, yes, I, you are I, you are the head now. Yeah, and Pepper and Saul were your general, yeah. and you were the corner. So yeah. you were in the hierarchy. Yeah. So when they told you, who told you that she then were coming that they said call you? They sent to us. They sent they to us. Oh, who they yeah. sent to you? Yeah, that they will be coming to Bamba. Who they sent? That's how we, we give them corridor. Who they sent? Who they sent? Yeah. The people, the, 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 the people too used to get their, 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 their runners and what they used to send with letter when, when we came, people and so say this is the letter we oh, expect. So they came with letter? Yeah. Then why you are you didn't tell the other poor young man to welcome them? No, we don't do that on the front line. We don't do that because there are certain strategic position, like you say apex position. Here, there will, there, there will be people deployed at the guard posts. You don't because certain group of people coming, you don't just tell everybody to retreat and come okay. to the headquarters. Supposing they hit. Okay, so we don't so, do that. So when they, the high command can meet with so ever, then you can we can reach it down to them. They king with car or they king by air. They king with car. So the time you take O Banga. The yeah. time you take O Banga. Yeah. And uh, you limote O Banga up to where in Morovia. Up to where in Morovia? Yeah. They were having echo mobs along the road too. Oh, all along the road? Yeah. And okay. people used to travel to, to bring food stuff to sell and come back to Morovia. Oh, okay. So you were all along with echo mob or along the route? Echo mob was along the route coming to Morovia. Mm -hmm. We were going, were you going in? Tell how you power by the uh, uh, Batala base there. Mm -hmm. From present Batala base now, you power mm -hmm. by Batala base all the way down. We were controlling down to the farm. Oh, nah, even. So you took over the base and all? Yeah. You no MPFS, so you were around no, there. Nobody all of them run away. Nobody okay, so there. the king will car? Yeah. What kind of car the king in? I keep on saying, I said they came with two. No, you said they came with the two Jeep in Morocco. Yes, they came with the Jeeps. The king with it there. Ray and the green pickup. The king with it to Banga. Yeah, to Banga. Then, then they came. put your inside. Yeah. Then your king. He was 10 to 1 okay. to us. The pickup was full when the king or that you the only people were inside the pickup with them. If the pickup was full when the king. Yeah. No, the pickup were not full. They have a few people to the front. I think they were three. The other one, three. Like six. They were six. They were six. The driver, the yeah. They drawer and two person. Two people, yeah. They drawer and yeah. two person. Yeah. So there were six. The people who came with him, you know some of them? I keep on saying that I call their name. Oh, you already pa called them. Kamara name. Sheriff, yeah. So that was uh, Papa Kamara Sheriff, Sheriff and who? You said call apart from him. Papa Kamara and Pape Sheriff. Papa Kamara Sheriff. Yeah, Mr. And Sheriff. And then who? He Sheriff Kamara. Okay, so there were three. Yeah. And I can three recognize. Who? The other three, you can't recognize them. They were drivers. They were driver. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And the time they gave you the money, the time they gave you the money um, on 10th Street. Yeah. You say that was US dollar. Yes. 
and then your candy in front of the people yeah and it was twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand to make sure before to we can be go. sure. Yeah. But then after they left now, nah, somebody tell you say the money was more. Yeah. How come the money was more that they gave to you or the money was more that they gave to them, but they only gave you twenty five thousand? Which one? That's what what they told us that the money was more than what they gave us. Oh, so that means they took some of the money. Yeah. Before okay. the, that one could even reach us. Oh, that other money reach you. Only yeah. the twenty five thousand reach you. Yeah. Okay. You and uh, the command, the high command, and uh, that you were part of. That were Pepe and so who were the general? Pepe and so. Yeah. Pepe and so. And who were next to him? John Java. John Java. Yeah. And then who were next to John? Kumba, our fourth. You were the last. Yeah. That was the last. Eh? Langasa fifth. Langasa, but you left Langasa. Yeah, we left him there. I in thought Banga. you talking about the the, the command in Banga. No, 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 no. I talking about your who came. Who who? Okay. Um, let's go back to Kape, General Kape. Yeah. The time they came, General Kape. You say Ama Yulu that the one who gave the order that they should kill him, and then. And Haji Jv Kuma gave the order. So the mission execution was done by General Kape and uh, 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 Asumana Kamara alias Bambangida. They carry on the mission. Excuse me. Yeah. I won't be clear on the thing here. Yeah. Alahaji Koma gave the honor to who? Ama Yulu. Ama Yulu. Yeah. Then Ama Yulu gave the honor to Bambangida. Asumana Kamara. Asumana Kamara. Okay. The time the thing was happening, Ama Yulu was there. He was there. He, he was, was standing present. right he there was, when they shoot. He was him. seated in the jeep like they because that there is a drive. What were the color of the jeep? Yeah. What were the color? The way, way, what jeep. kind of way uh, 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 people you were having? The jeep, okay. way one. They were having the, the mini tank combat uh, uh, desert Land Rover jeep. That Ibn Bagida will have it, so we drew Isa. So he was there. The I was came. there. I was bodyguard. He, he, am I yeah, he was, was there. there. He was also there. He was there. Oh, okay. He was there with one of the 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 strongest bodyguard to even uh, he the 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 Ama Yulu. Why he? From from the K5 group. Why he? The coin. Ato, they call him Ato. I think he's somewhere around Ato and Benedict. Ato and Benedict. They were in the K5. Okay. When you started fighting for LUDF, yeah. Because you say the time you started fighting for you, the more they capture you, and eh? Yeah. They capture you. Yeah. Who they capture you from? Who they? They capture you from. They arrested you from. I said we were arrested in the refugee camp. In the refugee because they camp. knew that they cannot able to get more manpower. That had a civilian government give them the go ahead. To they arrest did them. it overnight. They smuggled us down to Benguma training center in Waterloo. That had were pick up with helicopter gunship. They brought us to Toma base. And now they play the arrested you. Yeah. Okay. Um. You said when they arrested you, you were 12 years old. Yeah. Okay. But you were fighting for LUDF before they arrested you. I was not fighting for LUDF before they arrested us. I said we were in the refugee camp. When did you fight and for we, LUDF? We, we recruited in LUDF 91. Oh, that LUDF. LUDF. Was, the that ex they former you. AFS soldiers. That form the so called group LEDF. They the one did that arrest. Oh, but what did they arrest you from? From the refugee camp. No, you were in a ref you ran away from your home. Yeah. And you came to the refugee camp. Yeah. As a child. Yeah. With your parents. We were in the refugee camp because we were, we, we, we were in Popa, the house cross. When the war was escalating, the house cross went down. You and your people there? Yeah. They you took and us your down. mind, your pa? Yeah. Okay. 
So they can and they arrest you for the refugee camp yeah. and they carry you to fight for yeah. LUD. And even they were they were even taking some identified kios what they know they knew before from the refugee camp, carrying them. And when they carry them, they can bring them back. You can even see them. Because already they have been ordained by the civilian government to become soldiers then. Okay. How they used to smuggle the the the, the, the Gyo people now. Among, and that was 1991. Where? That was 1991 when 91, they captured you. 91. Okay, 91 when they captured you. Okay. Another question is, you said that um, those who bear the greatest um, responsibility should be taken to justice. Because that was your word. They used you. You were not conscious. Yeah. And then, and yeah. what you said, you were not conscious of what was happening. Yeah. Okay. But in 1991, at a very tender age of 12, mm -hmm. when you are not supposed to be even conscious of what was happening, you can remember everything in detail. Yeah. From the time you joined, to the time you fought for LUDF, to the time you came, and all those times were just within 12, 13 years old. From the time they came Kape, all those things that happened, everything happened in 1991. When you were 12 years old, you were able to remember everything. Yeah. But yet and say, you say they used you because you people were not conscious. Yeah. How do you explain conscious? What do you mean by conscious? The conscious I'm talking about per se, we were doing something mm -hmm. that we never knew the after effect. That's why I said that. What you mean by we you never knew effect. what will come after or what will happen next that this thing we are doing you is what's not correct to talk about it. we will do it we can remember it but the conscience that yes indeed this is wrong that we are doing because we knew it's an organized group that was set up and ordained by the government of seven new right mm -hmm. that we believe so law is under that umbrella there is nothing absolutely that you happen. do somebody will take you to law or do otherwise so you are conscious that if even you go against the leaders they were going to do something to you you knew that they were going to do something bad to you yeah if you i go that. against my leaders so the, in age, the revolution at that age, you knew bad thing and you knew good thing. In the revolution, yeah. That if I go against my my leaders, they, they were will too bad, bad to you. At that age of two, you knew that if you go against the leaders, they were too bad thing to you. Yeah. And that bad thing that either to kill you or to beat you or to do something bad to you. And then at that yeah. age. At that but age, yet stay at that age, you were killing, you were looting, yeah. you were doing all the bad, bad things. But you were not conscious that you were doing bad things. That you are going to speak to him one day. But you knew the difference between bad and good at that tender age of 12. You knew it. If I knew the difference between bad and good. At I 12. knew the difference between bad and good at that time. Yeah. But if we were given things that we wipe sometimes our focus in our mind like drugs like alcohol you get drunk if even you get drunk certain things happens you must re you must recall when the day comes you must recall because it might just look in front of you just like you are looking at a video or watching concert okay so up to 1998 at that time you were like 18 years old am i right yeah you were 18 years old but you were still fighting yeah you were still doing bad at that time i believe as i said earlier on that when we start to get widened in the revolutionary uh, uh, movements, 
we start coming to ourselves small small within that age all the way down presently i don't believe i really did something that went out of the way mm -hmm. within my own conscience that myself i did it so after 18 years you do not buy i i i really kept down small you check fighting out. was part of me but like how before we used to do the massive killing we clinch coins say i want to do this i will take care no it never you happens that like that way. before you okay. can even go down to foya other people will tell you that day, that, day, that day when you made your first statement to the trc yeah for the statement taking yeah in that statement that you call shika fuma konene yeah i made my my first statement is what it, it was there was i did i did you even the, the ceremony i did you did yeah and she was there who was there she yeah he was he there was he there. walked out he walked out. yes he did because there were the rubber chairs what was set up like this he walked out okay that was the time the lady from undp or from somewhere makes a remark that if everything we are saying here should be reality should be truth i, I told her i say yes okay. there is nothing i can deviate from i made that statement before so how can you put your own responsibility now with all the killing you did all the baba things opening with me stomach taking the intestine i know you did some you say you did some how can you put your own responsibility I've already said there that I keep on asking for pardon that what I did that time it was not good so I ask the people of this nation to forgive and forget about what all I did during the war. My last question, um, when you made your statement, your first statement, they wrote it down. And then, they wrote your statement down. Yeah. The second one, they wrote it down too? Somebody was writing, another person having a tape recorder. Recording, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Yes. Uh, this is Council Commissioner Councillor Pearl Brown Bull. Yeah. I just cannot sit and don't say something. Yeah. Because he who is silent when he is he should speak a sense. That means they agree with it. Yeah. And for thirty years. I've been in a public forum serving this country. Many times I have been considered controversial. And if I should sitting in this centennial pavilion today be considered controversial, it won't be the first time. Mr. Witness, Mr. Sheriff, yeah. I listen to the question and answers here. Yeah. You saw when this is Cecilia Freeman Poole, who was the coordinator for statement taking. You saw when she came over to the table and looked at your statement. Those papers that you said were your writing. Yeah. And she went. And if I should not let the Liberian people know what transpired procedurally, whatever they say i must let them know so they can make their own opinion i started with the last statement the first place trc has procedure and we have oversight statements are taken by the statement takers she was a general coordinator she took your statement yeah. she took your name she took your wife date and she took in contact telephone Miss Cecilia Freeman Bull is not an ordinary person in this country 
she's known she's a college professor she was president of CDRA A so when it comes to education procedure besides being even president of the African diplomatic wives in Washington DC where yeah. she served with her husband as ambassador to Washington and London she's not a, just an ordinary statement taker now she took those statements the procedure in TRC when they take your statement they send it down to the investigative unit to check everything that you said to say whether it's correct or not then they're yeah. supposed to put it in the database among the other statements and that's why when you hear me say 20,000 statements in there now the inquiry unit of the TRC I want the public to know because you are one of the first persons they put on the stand and you want now coming almost to the end yeah and as controversial as it was when they put you on the stand it will this state this hearing will be controversial too now the day you talking and you say shika fuma conan was there when you testify i want the public to know shika fuma conan was not present council commissioner purple was not present commissioner umosila was not present commissioner dolope was not present we talk about commissioners or the trc the public must know this because after this when i talk I will make my decision on whether I want to be part of this TRC. Now, so the first thing I want the public to do is not correct. And I can tell you where they were. The day the statement taking things started, we did not even know that they were bringing TV people to put an end statement taker on the stand. Because that was not a procedure. That day, Commissioner Paul Brown, who with oversight responsibility for Montserrat County, we were launching our statement taker, taking statement at the J.J. Rawls Monument. I invited Sheikh Kafuma Kone to be present. And the newspaper carried a go in my office, thank God, I kept those pictures. You will see Shika Fuma Conan sitting there. You will see Kenan Atifa sitting there. You will see Rafa Abien sitting there. You will see the mayor of Monrovia. You will see the Lebanese ambassador. You will see the superintendent of Montserrat County. I invited some of the representatives. I think Dustin Wolokoli also was there. Yeah. That's why when you do things like death Stanley and it come out, it looks bad. So we mounted the statement taking process there and the pictures there. So Shika Fuma Kone could not have been present when you were making your statement at number one. So on our oath, you've lied. Perjury. Secondly, the uh, statement uh, that you made, just wait. Yeah. When you are finished talking, you will talk. Okay. The statement that you made to Mrs. C. R. Freeman Poole, it has it, and that's the statement that you are used. Nowhere there is mention for Shika Fuma Kone, and we can produce the statement as number two. Yeah. You hear? So when you talk that first day, we were not there for the radio pickup people play, and you didn't mention his name. Now your own statement, we see they put you back here. Yesterday, you went back to. okay yes she came over again to tell me but i just want enough to talk for the public you 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 said they call you few days ago to yeah. trc office yeah to get information biography biographic your biographic yeah. was already taken the day miss boo did it in 2007 yeah. You hear? Yeah. So you're coming to the TRC to take biographic two days ago or three days ago. I want the public to know that your biographic was also there already. That's number three. 
Yeah. Would, you know, and your statement there, that's why when you were talking, and I look at the paper I made it, I didn't even know why you were coming this thing, that in a different handwriting. It's my handwriting there. I just say, it's and mine. this one, to the extent, will take it for handwriting expert because the people need. And you know what? Even when they ask you, that's why you came to this trip for to call. He said he asked you to call Sheikh name. You said yes. This was a good experience, and this what I continuously he, he, call. He said, he said, when, he said excuse what? me. This what I continuously call that the TRC of Liberia should have exchange like this, where accused and accusers can set each other. And cross examine them. Our rules even call that you can have a lawyer. For the public to know who's telling the truth, who's not telling the truth. And by the questioning and answering, people can tell. I didn't know how you were coming, why you were coming. But if you had not said that that day when you talk, she can fool my water, I would not have taken the mic to talk again. Because why? Your own statement, they recorded, they recorded on TV, they recorded here. So everything you said, the people can go back and listen to it. So the public and everybody sitting around your voice can be registered. Secondly, yeah. you said Charles Taylor was in Monrovia 1994. The public know when Charles Taylor came to Monrovia. I said, according to them, when they went to yes. Banga. According yeah. to them, but when they you, went to Banga, when, I told you I never saw Chancellor with my me. dear eyes. Commissioner Dolope yeah. said you have been able to chronicalize and remember everything. So if you all had taken over Banga, who's supposed to have been Greater Monroe, Greater Liberia? So Charles Taylor presence where and you are so way up with Chick, please this way i'm back at the mic and you were so way up to the top to be among the six to receive money you had no you're supposed to have known what charles taylor is but the public will know that you say what they say so most of the things what you've been seeing here at our board will start asking ages this thing who are asking for purpose that all they say now Upper Brown Kamara Boo with my training as a lawyer and my political training, I will not sit down and risk anybody need, anybody life, anybody property on what they say, including what we're writing there. And I, as a commissioner, request that those handwriting, those specimens of the handwriting be turned over to the hand expert with the government here to find out whether those writings are yours. And if it's yours, we'll let the public know. If it's not yours, that's another uh, a story you told. And they call it poetry because on oh, no, the you took it. Everybody know Charles Taylor was not in like Mon Greater Monrovia. Because when they took Banga over, Charles Taylor was in Ghana. And Charles Taylor stayed in Ghana, the MPFF uh, 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 took back over Ghana, uh, 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 Banga. Now, your Jekan will hear, yeah, say, yes, yeah, say, yes, yeah, say, the first day of the TRC. And when you, they put your own that way, I got up and said, I disagree with the procedure the chairman they has started with the TRC report. It's our comfortable voice, actually, I say it. And I say it again. This procedure of putting you on the witness stand, quite contrary from the procedure for statement taking, receiving statement taking, calling witnesses, and they say this year, I disassociate myself from it. The inquiry unit of TRC needs to be investigated because many of the statements that have been coming before us here were your right to us and when we ask the witnesses and think they've been wrong. So who will come and take what they write and just come and give 
and recommendations on that one will be lying on the people because if they go for 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 any kind of hearings whether in Liberia or not and they find that these people is wrong mistake that what they say your your yeah, wife did and what you say poor brown bull integrity will be questioned my character that I have built up will be questioned and not because we were chosen to be commissioners we just continue to go ahead with what's going on this inquiry unit or the TRC needs to be investigated and the chairman you chairman you the one who brought these inquiry people we didn't know them and the public must know this when you put this man on this this morning you did not show up you wanted us to call somebody else to take the law no commissioner pool must let the public know what's going on and i think that say what service say what society human rights political parties and all of y'all who recommend us to sit here i think it's about time that you start giving a check upon us here and i thank you i know i've been out of order but the public must know what happened they see men started it and they see men they call him to tell him what to say now it's no. not correct bye i can still continue to repeat it nobody told me what to say it's my writing it's nobody's writing you can bring paper now i can do the same thing i tell you you, you compare it it's my writing but nobody else mr witness nobody told me to come and say this say that i thought i know it mr witness yes sir time is far spent we want to thank you very much thank you too for coming to participate in this process yeah. You join the ranks of many other Liberians who have come believing that uh, truth telling is good for our reconciliation process yeah. and it's going to lay the foundation for lasting peace in our country. You've come and by your testimony you have assisted the work of the Commission yeah. and we assure you that you've made some contribution as well. Okay. Uh, commissioners have exhausted their questions. I don't have any question, but before you leave, is there Anything you'd like to say finally before you leave? Can I get you? Is there anything you'd like to say finally before you leave? I just want to advise my brothers out there for us to tie up our beds and be focused to do something good for our future and forget about the street. I continue to come in again, Mr. Chairman, there is nobody who can lead me to do this, to do that. I thought I knew what I did. I knew what people did. If I came up to say something, I don't see no controversy inside. I did my, 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 my uh, hearings right at TRC head office. You knew you, you yourself was present. Yeah, he was there. He was there. They keep on calling. They call me, come. I doesn't leave at TRC. TRC have never even given me a single cent one day. God in heaven's no. I doesn't know nobody at TRC. is my uncle, is my this, is my relative. Nobody I know there. But if they call me, they say, come. I should come. For every time I talk, they will call and record. So there is nothing I deviated from from the first, second, or whatsoever call I made. For certain things, sometimes, like what the, the commissioner was saying, we were not down at the front line like s tools. You can only maybe get a time of the incident, when, where, this, that, we can recall. But if you ask the s tools who used to be in the revolution, maybe they can give you the correct data. We can know the years. But if we tell you more or day, this is it, hard. Our focusing 
is to concentrate whosoever is your enemy, you trace them out. So I doesn't see no need for controversy. The truth is the truth and I will keep on to see it. I will never give up till the last day. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank um, you, finally, I just want to uh, assure myself yeah. and maybe other commissioners that your security is taken care of. You said at one point in time yeah. you were being harassed your life was being threatened. Yeah. Has that stopped? As. Has that stopped? They stop mocking you. They stop threatening you. The people who are doing it, they stop it. Because the area I was living at red light. Don't I, tell me the area you living right now. That. You move from there. Yeah. Okay. So they start. They know what place yeah. you stay in yeah. right now. Yeah. Okay. We turn go. So when you leave from here now, everything all right with you. I don't know out there because from here press comfort passing that I've started, I said this, I said that. I don't know how the weather may looks like. Yeah, well, at the beginning yeah. I asked you whether there was a threat, whether you wanted to come in public. Because you know something, it's you yourself who is the first security for yourself. Yeah. You can secure yourself better than anybody else. So that decision that decision that was made by you to come back today after knowing that you were being threatened is that you were aware that something like this will happen and that you will be threatened again but yet and stay you said you wanted to come in public and so this is the it, reason why i want to assure my, my coming here let me just eye on it up my coming here i would say i was informed to come. You were informed, yeah, and you know, and you were told, yeah, to okay. come. Okay. So okay. I, I have no other alternative but to come. Okay. I, 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 I cannot you. deny the TRC. Or Thank, deny you the Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, um, you may leave now with the permission of the TRC. Okay. We take a break and resume at okay. about 22 to four. Okay. We'll take a break for 45 minutes. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we take 45 minutes break.